Today we are here in Brisbane and we're playing the first game, uh, the first time actually ever potentially globally uh, that a blind team is actually playing a first class cricket side. Uh, it's going to be a real challenge out there today. The Bulls are going to take this really seriously, as are we. Oh, God. You know, we put so much trust in our vision um, as cricketers and, and to put your trust in your other senses. Um, yeah, it was, it was definitely a challenge, especially to start with. I think early on a lot of the guys were sort of just getting the hang of not being able to see properly and then um, when, when the guys actually found out that they could trust their, you know, their other senses, their hearing and a lot of guys hitting the deck and feeling around for the ball and um, it was good to see our, our guys get really involved with that and actually want to get better at it, so it was good to see. Well, the major differences are that um, blind cricket is bowled underarm. Uh, sided cricket is of course bowled overarm. Um, there's a different type of stumps, so of course sided cricket has wooden but we have metal and they make like a noise of course. Oh, yeah! The ball has ball bearings inside of it um, in a plastic shell, so that's the main one of the main features of the bowling. Uh, Batting is pretty similar, you can do stand up shot but our predominant shot is a sweep shot um, as the ball rolls roll, roll along the ground. You don't get a lot of bounce, so the stand-up shot's a little bit more risky. Um, otherwise, the fielding's pretty similar. Um, maybe a little bit smaller boundaries. Otherwise, we always get stumped, bowled, run out court, all the same usual. Smash through the gap, outside the reach of the B1. The ball's slowing down, but it might make it to the boundary. It has indeed! Yeah! 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 <laughs> Playing a, a game of bind and vision impaired cricket can really I guess for a professional cricket side, assist them with their communication skills, um, which is common for cricket. It doesn't matter whether you've got a disability or not. If you don't communicate, you're not going to be very successful. So I think that that would be something that hopefully they'd take out of today. I just think it's great that there's a format of the game that's you know inclusive of all people and just to be able to experience a different form of the game that these guys are extremely you know good at and to test ourselves in an environment that we're not used to. Um, I think it's great for you know learning and challenging yourself, so it's really good. When we play against such a high quality opposition today, um, it really provides a yardstick for us to get better.